Hi ladies and gents. Um I waited and waited and waited, you know, to to, to do this. Um after this latest uh, press conference by the Prime Minister. Um I've waited about six hours uh, by the current um time. So there's a lot of uncertainty apart from all the nanobots are coming out. They're going to break up the civilised world as we know it. Um, we've had the Omicron variant. We've got the Delta variant. Uh, sorry, we've got the Omicron variant. We've had the Delta variant. And they're bunching up and mixing together. And that's going to kill civilization. We will have to enter a third lockdown, which will create the post-apocalyptic world with all the zombies, aliens, monsters, androids, asteroids, iOS, whatever you want to call it. So, we had people telling us to scale back. We had people giving us all the scientific evidence, you know, of the reason why uh, we, we need to take measures how the virus is mutating. But one thing certainly for certain, our Prime Minister doesn't want to close the economy. There may be a deadly virus. You can get boosted, you can get vaccinated. There's a deadly virus, but we will not shut shops. We will not close borders. We will not close airports because it's right near Christmas and we need to take advantage of the rush because otherwise he's not going to be able to rebuild the economy. I mean, he can't follow suit, you know, like the likes of Germany, Holland, Belgium and the other European countries that are partially closing areas, you know, locking areas down. Boris Johnson can't do that. Why? One, because we're no longer in the EU. Because if we were in the EU, we'd all be collectively, you know, together. And there'd be some contingency plan with funding. And we wouldn't have this supply and demand issue. And if you voted leave in the UK, refer in, in the Brexit referendum, then you're a fool. You know, because even before the Brexit deal was sorted, we knew about the pandemic. We'd already had a lockdown before the Brexit deal was over the line. You know, so, I mean, Jesus Christ, talk about the unknown. You know, we sort of knew what the unknown was going to be. But because of our Prime Minister, like I said at the start of this video... We will eventually enter a post-apocalyptic world and it will be the end of democracy and the end of civilization as we know it. So, do you feel like celebrating Christmas this year? I know I don't. I know I won't be travelling one mile to go and see my mother. I certainly won't be travelling two miles to have me dinner in a pub on Christmas Eve, like we were originally going to do. You know, I mean, I do thank you for listening to these videos because while I haven't got many subscribers, a lot of people do do uh, comment and like the video. I just wish more people would um, share and subscribe. But that'll come with time. Yeah. Um, I mean, we had people saying... Chris Whitty in particular, when he was talking about the vulnerable and shielding, he was asked a question by a reporter and he said, oh, he said, we're really going to leave that till the last resort because shielding had a negative effect on the vulnerable, you know, like mental health and, 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 and social issues and things like that. But if the science is there, then we need to obey the science. I'm in the classification, the category of a vulnerable adult. 
I'm disabled. I've got. I'm physically disabled. Um, got spastic cerebral palsy, which mainly affects my lower limbs. So I mean, another lockdown for me is going to be very challenging. I mean, it's challenging for me to go outside and 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 face society on a daily basis because I don't care if you work and you're disabled if you really independent and you're disabled or even if you've got a family and you're disabled you face adversity on a daily basis i mean you might go somewhere you might even drive somewhere and still there might be somewhere you can't get to because it's not accessible well when the whole country's locked down there's nothing accessible you know shops are shut and while I agree with it, if we need to lock down, we need to lock down. But again, we're being too slow to react. We've known about this Omicron variant for two and a half weeks, nearly three weeks. And people were still saying, oh, you can't get it in restaurants. Oh, you can't get it in pubs. You can't get it here. You can't get it there. You can't. It's only, it's only in really confined closed spaces you know it, it, it's a weaker variant when you look at the spike point of this omicron variant it's the strongest variant we've had you know but it, again too slow to react you know even at the height of the pandemic three thousand people were, were going through airports a day and still are now because he's never, ever closed the airport. You know what I mean? He will not close borders. The only way you're going to close borders is by stopping the travel coming over the borders. You can't metaphorically just say, right, we'll close this road, which leads onto this border. You have to close the airport. The airport is what links people to the border. You've got to stop the footfall of people going in and out of airports. And that's why, you know, we have, we've had all these Brazilian variants and African variants, you know, and, and whatever else. This is absolutely terrible. You know, we're, we're, we're an advanced nation. Um, I mean, we've got a prime minister that really, really just doesn't give a shit. He doesn't, does he? Boris Johnson, and this is a guy who supposedly had COVID, just doesn't give a crap. You know, he, he, he doesn't care. The last thing he wants to do is close the economy because he knows he can't rebuild it. You know, I mean, I do um, thank everybody that listens to these videos because I'm just a disabled guy having a rant most of the time don't have many subscribers hopefully that'll change with time um but i like the you know the capability of youtube because you do reach quite a wide audience and i have had likes and comments and that's what it's about you know if if you don't like what i say either don't comment or keep it constructive um but it's really hard, isn't it, to, you know, for everybody to stay focused. I mean, I know in the last lockdown, after the last lockdown, I was visiting, like, restaurants and cafes and establishments. And people were saying, well, we've had a glimpse of retirement. We've really seen what retirement, you know, is going to be like. And if that's the case, then we don't want to retire. But at the end of the day, I mean, I, I really don't know what we're going to do. And I'll say it again like I did at the start of the video. I think we will enter this, this post-apocalyptic world that you've only ever seen in, in really bad horror movies or sci-fi movies. You know, I think somebody somewhere has known something you know, some psychic somewhere when they were making all these movies with all the zombies, the aliens, 
and the spaceships and the asteroids and androids. I think they've known something. Somebody had some psychic power, didn't they? Um, you know, I do feel sorry for the people that already suffer um, with mental health issues. And all I can say to them is, listen to a video like this. Listen to somebody having a rant. When you're on your own and things are getting on top of you, write stuff down. You know, j just write down what you're thinking. Doesn't matter how bad it is, doesn't matter how silly it is, doesn't matter uh, whether you think it doesn't make any sense at all or nobody will listen. Write it down. Keep like a, a chronology of what you're thinking. And even if it goes from like one extreme to another, somebody's got something to look at They've got like a, a report of how your mind was working, how your mind has deteriorated over time. Write stuff down, talk to people, uh, use the helplines, use the services available, but also bear in mind that mental health services are really stretched even under normal circumstances. And now they're even more you know, stretched and they're, they're at breaking point really. But still, if you really have to, still use them because volunteers are there, support's available, people are on the other end of a line. Um, you know, but also like, what will you be doing um, this Christmas? Are you gonna scale back? Um. What, what are you going to do? Are you going to listen to what they say to you? Are you, you going to try and make the best sense of it you can possibly make, which isn't very much? Let me know in the comments. And if you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike the video. But comment and keep it constructive. And keep it, uh, try and keep it as, as jovial and as, as open-minded as possible. Thanks for listening and see you next time.